Hello, YouTube. On the bench today, we have a Razor Blade 15 and was sent in for a no power fault. Let's get into it and see what's going on. First, let's check, see if there's any power left in the battery. There's the fuse and we get nothing. It doesn't look like it's been taken apart before. The tamper stickers are still intact, so that's a good sign. So unplug the battery, check the main power rail. Razer has been kind enough to put a lot of fuses on their laptops. These fuses are usually located between the main high side power rail and the power input to any given buck regulator circuit. What this means is if there's a fault in a regulator circuit, the fuse supplying that circuit will probably blow. Because of this, the main power rail won't measure short. Measuring diode mode on the main power rail, I get 92 ohms to ground. That's a little low. I'd expect a little bit more than that. I'm going to take a few more measurements to check for shorts. I can't see anything suspicious. Let's take it apart so I can check for shorts around the CPU supply. Okay, the heat sink's off. To make sure I'm not wasting time, I'm gonna test resistances on the CPU. That measures four ohms. And CPU GT measures 16 ohms, so that looks good. Whilst we're in this area, let's test every fuse we can see. That one's okay. That one's 30 ohms. That 30 ohm fuse is probably our problem, so let's dig a bit deeper into that area. Okay, so the blown fuse is just off screen above that capacitor. Power comes from the main rail through the fuse and provides power to this regulator. The regulator then drops the voltage down and sends it out through this inductor. I've checked the resistance between the high voltage input and the low voltage output of the regulator. The reg has failed with a short circuit and sent 19.5 volts into VCCSA for the CPU. Often this kind of damage means the CPU will be dead. The only way to know for sure is to repair the power rail and see what happens. With that said, let's get to work repairing the power rail.
Okay, I've replaced the regulator. I've replaced the fuse. It seems like the short circuit's gone. I'll plug it in real quick and check the voltage. The voltage output from the regulator is good. Let's see if it displays anything. The moment of truth. Did the fuse protect the CPU? Will we have a picture? We have a picture. I don't believe it. This CPU ate 19.5 volts and it survived. I'm gonna get this laptop repasted, reassembled and ready to return to the customer. With that said, I'd like to thank Razer for putting fuses in their laptops. Good job. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more repairy goodness. Goodbye.